Hi, my name is Bud Gray. I wanted to introduce you to my book, The Buddy Bridge, that I wrote for my granddaughter, Cece, missing her during COVID. Um, at the time she lived in um, the UK, she's now in San Diego, still very, very far away. I did this as just a special opportunity to have something she could keep for the rest of her life. Um, a very good friend of mine from JMU named Tom Arvis is a professional illustrator and he and I did a cartoon strip back in the 70s in the breeze called Mert the Mortician. Tom stayed in um, uh, illustrating and that's what he does for a living. This has nothing to do with what I do for a living. So it was a very out of the box experience for me in terms of my comfort level. Just to read a couple of pages here um, from the very beginning. One night while Princess Double C was silently sleeping, she awoke to find birdies quietly peeping. Cross the pond to the great beyond and go visit Yaya and Baba, they said in her ear. Gather your friends to help you get there. She jumped in her bed with a smile so bright, even though it was still the middle of night. With a flap, flap, flap of a wing, 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 a silver shovel appeared, a magic digging thing. She sang dig, 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 so she dug, 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 down through the mattress, down through the rug down through the stairs and into the street, down through the ground, wonder who she would meet. Get a little picture of some of the illustrations here. She met Corncob Carl with a curl in his hair. He was dancing and prancing with nary a care. Merrily the honeybee was buzz, buzz, buzzing in a maple tree. Such a sight, it was quite funny, buzzing merrily in that stickety honey. Pencilhead Fred, whose car runs on lead, backed her out of the car keeping shed. It had a shoe for a horn, so he could toot with his toe. Honk, 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 you could hear that thing blow. As he rounded the corner, he steered with his knee so he could clap, clap, clap for PCC. PCC, by the way, is Princess CC, Princess Double C. And I wanted it to sort of have at the end a message. And so the final here, where she actually is reunited with Yaya and Baba. I am Baba. My wife of 41 years is Yaya, also a JMU graduate. And the last page says, they turned back to all and offered a shout to thank them so much for helping them out. Then home they headed where soon they would play. One thing was certain, it'd been quite a day. And if you're guessing, a lesson was learned on the way. When we work together, like good friends do, magic can happen and dreams do come true. Again, the message is important to me as the rest of the book. If you're interested, Buddy Bridge is on Amazon. Love to have you purchase it. If nothing else, take care of your family. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so I grew up in Virginia Beach. I went to Madison College at the time. Um, it was the only place that I applied. I got early admission, didn't look to go anywhere else, and just went there straight out of the gate. Um, had great experiences while I was there. I was a communications art major with a radio, TV, film um, concentration. My granddaughter, Cece, was born in the UK and missing her was a, a terrible feeling. Even pre-COVID, having her so far away, I always was hoping my grandchildren would be, you know, right next door. When COVID hit, I was completely out of control like everyone else. And this was something I could control, something I could do for her, my hope would be that it would be something she would um, cherish now, thinking about spending time with Baba. I'm Baba, my wife is Yaya. Yeah, you know, being a grandfather, it's, it's amazing. And um, being a parent was amazing. Having been a parent, you think you know what's gonna happen, and then you find out you don't. And you go along and you're the best parent that you can possibly be. And we certainly made that our number one priority in life. When you have the chance to be a grandparent, you've tasted what it's like bringing someone into the world. You've tasted what it's like um, sculpting what their lives are going to be like. To have the person that you spent decades sculpting now be bringing someone into the world, it's, it's amazing. I mean, I'm sitting here saying this to you now and I have goosebumps because you think you have an understanding of what it's going to be like and to have something so far exceed the expectations is amazing to know every day this person is out there 
to know the role you played indirectly, if you will, in having this person out there is amazing. But to just see that little face on a regular basis, whether it's on FaceTime, unfortunately, or in person, it um, it, it just makes, it makes, I said in the book, I said it um, sort of makes the planets align. And it's true. It's the most amazing thing I've ever experienced.